Hey, I'm Macy. I lost my virginity to my high school boyfriend, Ryan, and before I knew it, I was pregnant. Me and Ryan got engaged, and I thought we could handle it. Oh my god, that was so mean. But being a teen mom is way harder than I ever imagined. He's not tired, though. Ryan, seriously. He's Having a baby freaked Ryan out. So I called off our engagement, and we almost broke up. But we're sticking it out for the sake of our baby Bentley, and things are starting to get better. I'm wearing my engagement ring again, but now the pressure is on to get married. So are y'all still thinking about October 3rd for the wedding? Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's only like two and a half months away. Well, don't be excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you are still thinking of that, we need to like start. The real plans, we got, I mean. Yeah, we do need to get moving, seriously. We cannot wait to the last minute. Do you know where you might want to have it? Put it out in my parents' backyard. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. See y'all. Bailing up. You gotta be straight, I'm gonna put this in your mouth so you you're choke. All right. Here we go. I would like for y'all to go to that marriage workshop. It's, like, it's not like a counseling class, but it's just like a workshop that it's like four hours and it just talks about how to communicate. Yeah, and it's just, great. you know, I think it would be good for y'all to do that. I think it'll help you, like, when you do argue and disagree, that y'all can communicate a little bit better, learn how to deal with issues. If you guys do these couple things, then I will help out with the wedding and pay for the honeymoon. Things have been bad with Ryan for a while, so I hope this time I can walk away for good. No. Hey, are you staying over here? Are you going to eat with us? No, Ryan, I don't want to. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Ryan, do you think that you bring more joy to me or trouble? <laughs> That's not funny. I'm being for real. Probably trouble, because we okay. like argue more than anything. So do you like feeling like you bring more trouble to my life? Well, no. Okay, I was just wondering. So what's like the biggest thing that stresses you out? There's a few things at the top of my list. What are they? When you like don't pay any attention to me or Bentley. That's when I get frustrated. Because if you can't care that much about him, then how am I supposed to care about you? So you're about to start an argument, so you just want to quit talking? Why can't you just say I understand what you're saying? I just want to quit arguing. I mean, sh Ryan? I don't understand how you can go without spending time with him and it not bother you. It pissed me off. Why take it out on him? Me and you have nothing to do with your and his relationship. I could, you could go on for days and days about complaining. And you would still, find something and you're new still to complain not about. Fix it. No, I've complained about the exact same things for a year. A whole year since he has been alive. I'm telling you right now. When you spend time with him, that makes me love you. And no way it's good enough for you, Macy, damn. Like, what does that mean? You want me to draw you a picture? What do you want me to say? <laughs> Can you not see that it kills me? And I know tomorrow it's going to be the same damn thing over again. You're not going to change anything. I don't, there's, not, no, there's not like much more than you, I mean, you can say. I'm sorry. Do you honestly think that sounds sincere to me right now? See, it looks like you're bitching about. I mean, what because I'm going to say. Okay, care, okay, right? I don't. Is that really all you have to say? Because if it is, then I'm done, Ryan. My car broke down on the way home from visiting my friends, so I'm driving a rental car now. I'm picking up Bentley from Ryan, and I need to talk to him about his girlfriend if she's gonna be around Bentley. Where'd y'all come from? Nashville. Well, what about that girl you brought to my house? That girl? That girl's good. She go with Bentley? Okay, uh -huh. good. 
It would have felt a little better had she even introduced herself. Well, I mean, it wasn't. I just told her not to get out of the car. Well, why? I don't know. I mean, I would just feel a little bit better about it if she would let me know who she is so I know who's going to be around Bentley. <sighs> don't go nowhere far. So she knows what she's in for? I mean, I guess there's not any responsibilities really, you know, for her. You don't think so? No, I mean, why, why should she have to? I mean, I don't ask her to do anything. They play and whatever, and she's she's good with him. And yeah, I mean, it's not like, you know, she just, she's there and ignores him and whatever. Ryan doesn't understand we need to be parents together. And I want to meet his girlfriend so I know who Bentley's around. Look at this. What is this? I went and met with a lawyer today. So, you know, it's, it's up to you what you want to do. The way he was talking about it, it would be three days with you and turn around and it'd be three days with me. We could go to mediation and if we still don't agree on it, then we go to court. Okay. The fact that he's three days here, three days there, three days here, that's not a home. That's him going to be everywhere all the time. It's just not good for him. Do you not agree with what I'm saying? No, I don't. Or you don't think this... that he needs a home? So you Somewhere think... Somewhere he lives. And that's at your house, correct? Right. Okay, well, then that's why we're going to court. If we go to court, Ryan, you're not going to get anything more. No, you're right, but you can't take it away. I'm never going to take it away from you. Okay, if I was well, going to take it away saying, from you, I wouldn't work with you on everything we do. And you know that. You know, I don't I don't have any any rights. So, I mean, you know, it kind of sucks. I just want it written in paper. So, it just, I mean, you know. That's fine. Well, you can move from here to wherever the hell you want to go. You know, I couldn't say, I could say, see you bye. That's about it. What are you talking about? Don't, you, Kyle lives in Nashville. Okay, so what is going to court going to do about that? Uh, you can only move 100 miles from your residence as of when we go to court. I don't have to chase you all around the world just to see Bentley. But, I mean, have you had to do that yet? Do you plan on moving? Yeah. See, so there you go. Okay, then I guess we'll go to court. Okay. What I wanted to talk to your mom about is whenever you need to come get Bentley from my house, you can pick him up at my parents' house. And when I need to come get him, then I will pick him up from your parents because I don't think we need to be around each other in front of Bentley right now because we can't get along and he gets upset when we argue in front I of mean, him. I mean, it's not my fault that you come outside. Is that okay with you? Mean, yeah, it's whatever. All but, right, then can you have your mom bring him out for me? I mean, you can go in and get him, I guess. Okay. That's about the most childish thing Thank I've ever you. heard in my life, though. Uh, Hello. Hey. 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 He's in here. I'm about to come on Well, what happened? I have to go pick my child up from somebody else's house now because I can't be around her ass. Wow. So she it's won't... probably that f***ing punk ass right there, my f***ing God. I love you, Bentley. Love you. Love you. I wanted to talk to you about our communicating skills, because we suck at it. It's just the drama-filled relationship. That's why I'm asking you, what can I do differently to where you might not feel that way? Well, you always call my mom or talk to my mom, and then I figure out everything through her. But you don't ever answer the phone when I call you. I get back to you 99% of the time. No. Yes, I do. Maybe not right then. Lose your tone. Lose not your tone. I don't have a tone with yes, you. Yes, you do. OK. See, this isn't going to work if I, if you're not going to take what I say serious. I'm just telling you how I feel about I'm it. I'm saying I will communicate with you and not your mom, but you have to communicate back to me. I answer it when it's important. 
everything is not important. It is important, Ryan, because just because you don't have time doesn't mean that it's not screwing up my whole day if I don't know when my son's going to get picked up. I don't have to check in with you. I don't have to let you know But you whatever. have to confirm. You have to say, yeah, I'll be there. I will start sending you a text message that That's says That's all I'm yes. asking for. Okay. I want to include you. I want to co-parent with you, not your parents. So we're on the same page. You got any homework? No. So if I check in here, you're not going to have any? I did it last night. You did it last night? You got to read for 30 minutes. You can do that at your mama's house. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Come on. What's up, dogs? You haven't met Clyde yet. Oh, I haven't met. Nope. Bonnie. None of them. Look. Hold. Oh, what's up, dog? I like this house. This is the first time I've ever been inside of it. Oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty. Right, are you going to show me his room? Yeah, let's okay. go. He doesn't have his cool bedding on right now because it's being washed. Oh, man, I like this. It's cool, huh? Yeah. And then he's got these to shoot. To play with. You got a cool room, dude. All right, buddy. Good night. Night. Love you. Love you. I love you. Love you. Oh, I'm flip you over. Ow! Ow! <laughs> All right, buddy. How was practice? It was good. He did a good job. They played three on three or something? Uh, there was only five kids, so they played. It was him and that thick kid, and then the really uncoordinated kid. Yeah. And then there was just some little small kid there. <laughs> I enjoy having you involved, and I know Bentley really enjoys going to practice with you. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy it. What's changed for you in the last month or so? I'm I just got tired of having to figure out everything through my mom or, you know. Yeah. I just, I guess if I want you to talk to me, I've got to interact with you more, so. Right. The more we communicate with each other, the easier it is and the less tension there is. Yep. I mean, I love your parents, but they need to also have respect for us as parents and the way that we want to raise him and discipline him because he's our son. I know, but I kind of did it myself when I let mom and them do a lot of stuff, so I can't like really get mad at them, but they've gotten a lot better. I appreciate you um, communicating with me and making it easy. I appreciate you doing the same. I'm proud of you. Thank you. So how's everything going with Ryan? Have you heard anything? Nothing at all. If I had access or any information, then I would be able to be like, hey, I can bring Bentley to come see you. Like, I don't even have to go there. I'll just bring Bentley. You don't even have to talk to me. I can bring Bentley to see you. How long has he been there? About three weeks. I don't know if he's looking to just do like 30 days and come home or if he is wanting to stay in a bit longer than that and then maybe go to like a halfway house. Like, I have no idea. I hope that those are the steps that he takes because I don't feel like it will be fixed in 30 days. Oh. I mean, I can tell you right now, if he comes home early or even at the 30 days, then if you don't do what you need to do outside of your recovery as far as Bentley is concerned, and as far as like staying sober for real, then we're done. Yeah. You can this with everybody in your life, but you can't do it with me. Like consequences with me are actual real things that actually happen when you screw up because it's not just anybody we're talking about. We're talking about my child's life. I just took Bentley to see Ryan while the MTV crew wasn't there, and it didn't go well. You weren't over there long. It's How did it go? It's well, I wasn't over there long, so. Uh, Jade, hey. Bentley's watching us. Come here. Will you take Jade to your room and play with her? Come on, Jade. Hey, hey wrap, wrap your towel around here. 
So we get out there, Bentley gives him his present. And he's like, oh, that's so cool, buddy. Go play basketball. So I'm like extremely irritated because he, he was like, he wasn't even giving him the time of day. And he says, okay, say whatever you need to say. So I said, how are you? And he said, fine. And I said, no, Ryan. I said, I want to let you know, like, put everything else aside and just think about, like, you and I and our child. Like, how are you? Like, are you okay? And he said, I'm okay. But I just have to say, I've got a problem with your husband. And I'm like, well, I got 100,000 problems with your snake of a wife, but this isn't about her or me. It's about your son. And he's like, the he said to my father, and I said, well, did your dad tell you what he did? So did y'all know about this? Did y'all know about Larry? No. Jumping up and down on the fence and screaming at an eight-year-old? At a game. At a game. Apparently he did this when Ryan played baseball. He yelled at Bentley to go, you're already halfway. But like, stood up on the fence and screamed, like lost his mind. And this is not the first time it's Ask happened. About I just, that. I just had enough of it. So how'd the rest of it end then? I said, all right, I'm done. And he said, okay, well, I'll see you in court. And I laughed at him. And I said, okay, I'll see you in court too, buddy. Good luck because that judge isn't gonna give you half of what I've given you. But that's gonna be my downfall in court because I have been so generous. Well, you don't have to now. No. You don't owe them anything. No. The only thing I'm gonna do is say, okay, Ryan, as his father, you can get two hours a week, that's it. And you have to pass a drug test and we're going to be there. You gotta build the trust but back. With you volunteering your two hours to come over, they're never, Jen and Larry are never gonna make Ryan change because they're getting their two Nobody hours. Nobody can make Ryan change, babe. I'm not, I'm not doing this for them. I know, but I'm saying, I don't think that even helps Billy. Because you know how he is when he goes over there and then comes back. How is he? A spoiled brat because he snaps his fingers and they'll do whatever he wants. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. They do like what they've done with Ryan for 30 years. But I'm no longer going to put my son and myself in this hellhole. We're going to court to try and get an order of protection against Ryan, which means he can't come near me, Taylor, the kids, or our house. If we get it and Ryan violates the order of protection, he will go to jail. It's be interesting. I've never had to go to court for anything other than a speeding ticket one time. Same. I'm like nervous. I want this to just be over with. Me too. We shall see you. Well, I mean, I feel like I'm pleased with the outcome. I feel like we got what we wanted and what's best for Bentley's sake in the future. Yeah, if he violates the protection order. He goes straight to jail. He goes straight to jail. Bentley is not included in the deal. So it only covers you, me, the babies, and Bonnie and Clyde. So that means that... Like Ryan can come to his Ryan baseball games. Ryan can come to his baseball games. That's fine. That's not what we're I'm trying not, to prevent him. Right. But he just has to stay away from us while he's there. It doesn't prevent him from still being a father, like still being able to show up for his son. Yeah. As crazy as this sounds like, this was like his, okay, you've got a shot to where you still have to stay away from us. You can still be a dad, but if you screw this up, then there are no more chances. Like, you don't get another pass. Yep, I agree. Ryan's coming home from rehab soon, and I wanna have a better relationship with him. So I asked his parents to meet so we can all get on the same page. Uh, how's Ryan doing? Have y'all heard from him recently? Yes, he's doing really, really good. Good. 
I'm proud of him. I'm he proud he of him. really is doing very well. Yeah. Yeah. This is the, this is the longest he's gone though too. So you can yeah. tell he's committed. Serious. He's committed to it. Mac has really been hard. Yeah. She's been tough. Yeah. yeah. I'm he, sure. She he's, told she told him, if you don't complete this program, you can come to the pod, get your. Mm. And live in Tent City. And live in Tent City. <laughs> but I know, I do know this. I do know that Ron wants to sit down and talk to you. I mm. think, I mean, I do know from what he said to me, he wants to work things out where y'all can communicate. You're making along. He's a lot he's mm. sorry for. He's very sorry about a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And he'll probably tell you that when he, he just wants, um, I don't I really guess know what as he wants. The sober Ron mm -hmm. to feel like he matters. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and he definitely does. I think he still blames me for Go ahead, say it. Taking the lead because of Bentley. And he wasn't able to make that happen. He says he feels like he's an uncle. Yeah. And he does. And not that. a father. Mm -hmm. And I know. A lot of that's been his fault. Mm -hmm. He needs to know, I think, from all of us that he, Ryan, made bad decisions. But I think yeah. it was the addiction. Yes. Yeah. Which, mm -hmm. you know, caused that rift between me and him. Mm -hmm. Was this something that I could tolerate anymore? No, I was so <laughs> over it. And I had to say some hateful things. Mm -hmm. He said some hateful things. He wanted to hurt me, and I wanted to hurt him. <sighs> and I know it still bothers him because it still bothers me. It's a tough life. <laughs> I can say one thing. I mean, it mean it's been really it's been hard times four. But for me, one thing has never left, and it's that I love you, <laughs> both, and Ryan. I love you too, baby. And that will never go away. That will never ever go away. Nope. And it's gonna have to start with you guys, you and Ron. Yeah. I will call my attorney and ask, but the restraining order shouldn't stop us from talking and meeting with each other and yeah. doing counseling and stuff. Is good. She asked me if I ever considered dropping the restraining order with Ryan. Mm -hmm. Just to make like communication with that stuff easier. And I mean, that ain't gonna help communication. It's been a year. The order's for two years. He has another year to prove that number one, he's gonna follow the restraining order, not be a moron and a psychopath. Like, mm -hmm. Because whenever the restraining order is up, it doesn't just dissolve. Like, we have to go back to court. Yeah. And the judge will ask us if we feel it's necessary for the restraining order to continue. If we drop the restraining order right now, we would pretty much be telling him, it's okay, you can call and, you know, threaten to kill my husband at our house. And... That our children live in. Right. And not not have any consequences for it. That's okay. Yeah. I feel the exact same way you do. Like there's been no action or anything he's done that shows me he's changed anyway. So mm -hmm. why would I consider dropping it? Right. Well, I think we're on the same page. We're not getting, we're not dropping it. No.